November the 5th, 2021. Guys, you're looking at images from La Palma tonight, and uh, a lot of people saying it's dying off. I really don't think so. This is obscured by clouds and ash, and uh, if it wasn't for that, you'd be seeing some very high explosions and this jetting of uh, whatever uh, hydrocarbons this thing has come in contact with. Notice the orange glow that's to the right of the image, and you can see a hill there. That's because there's a lot more lava going off the backside of this volcano than ever before. You're looking at images that would normally come out of this. The lava would come out of these um, areas you're seeing explode. Go down to the bottom left of the screen and then come back on this side of the hill. But that glow is because everything, not all the lava, but 90% of it now has changed the path. But look at these explosions, guys. This thing is nowhere near being over with it was the one of the lowest days as far as earthquakes the number of earthquakes i think the strongest was a 3.8 and they had uh, for the first time in 48 days or since the volcano uh, erupted a good hard rain and that washed a lot of ash off a lot of the banana plants things like that but it does uh, present problems as we've talked about before it becomes very concrete like on top of the uh, roofs things like that it's much heavier it's hard to clean from the streets etc now these are images a little earlier before sunset i just wanted to throw these in here um there is a tremendous amount of activity and even the uh, the spanish national geographic society that watches this information is saying this thing is far from over so just pay attention to it if you live there but if we look at the drone scans here there's a lot of activity and what's surprising to me is how much of it is underground the uh, as far as you you'll see a lot of lava then it'll drop into one of these pits and then come back out somewhere else and notice how deep these are it's, it's amazing to watch this because we've never seen a volcano this close to this many people covered this well by different uh, stations look down into that pit very hot lava is running the edges of this are very fragile in a lot of places if this was running an infrared scan at this point you would see a lot more but look how this is just coming up very deep very thick and uh, it's coming from the top of the mountain is to the left of this image as it works its way down but there's so many lava fields or lava flows excuse me on this side of the mountain that uh, you remember when it first started guys there was one or two lava flows that were back to the north of this and you could kind of tell how much was going on as far as the lava output but now it spreads so far and wide there you saw one of the walls collapse in this lava trail that uh, it's really hard to put it together look at this all of this is coming off the back side now the mountains at the top everything was coming off the very top left of this image but now look at this no way this is over tremendous amount of underground caverns leaking and as they start to expand more lava is coming off the top and filling that it's just not over yet we don't know exactly how long it will last but again the uh, their uh, scientists there are saying that it's not over by far and if you uh, a lot of you watch bushcraft bear and i know i do he said last night was one of the calmest nights um didn't hear the volcano that much there was no earthquakes that woke him up things like that he said it was the only thing that woke him up was the heavy rain which has its impacts but look at how this thing is filling up uh these large uh caverns that uh, extend very far down into this mountain notice that crack going up that side there and that's what i'm seeing in a lot of the images and i don't have them all here but i've kind of as i was coming in and out working on the greenhouse today i would check it sit down take a break there's uh, more lava coming in but there's areas that appear to um they're not like this but it appears that the lava is very close just maybe a couple of meters below the surface waiting to burst out on the side of this mountain if that happens we will see an increase in lava flow but again it the the lava flow has not slowed down and what have we seen for the last uh, week very accelerated solar winds they're hitting our magnetosphere our earth shields transferring through the core of the planet 
we talked about this for the last week or so and i think that's what we're seeing some of these areas were almost they will what you'll see is a burst of lava then some of the channeling will go down but that's not happening right now this i would almost bet is from the solar wind speeds increasing the coronal mass ejections and things like that and you can tell that it's filling back up very huge boulders are rolling down you've got two waterfall falls right in front of you there of pure lava but uh, if people saying this thing is dying off I think it's increasing in lava output maybe the quakes have decreased and they have I think less than 80 in the last 24 hours one of the lowest days so far but the core and the channels from the lower magma vents have opened up everything they need to open up it's just an uh, hemorrhaging right now of the magma turning into lava but again I've noticed in some of these images under the ash you get a glimpse of extreme heat and lava very close to the surface almost like it's about to break out so we're gonna have to pay attention to it because if you had a major ash wall like you're seeing now collapse it would release a tremendous amount of lava downstream now as we go through these drone images you'll see some of the uh, things I was talking about as far as how close some of this lava was to the surface we're going downhill now and you can see the lava's coming out right there and going down splitting to the right to the left going down further to the top of the image and splitting out again and th all of this again is from our the view that we're used to from the north of this it, everything's pouring out the backside look at some of these uh, deep caravans there check that out waterfalls of lava notice to the left of this how uh, where the lava is not dropping how red and hot it is under the surface check that out lava's trying to cool it's been running there but uh, I just wanted to come in guys and point out what I'm seeing been working on our, our greenhouse today that uh, started about three days ago getting it ready for winter why because there's going to be a food shortage it already is and anything you can grow tomatoes uh, lettuce anything you can grow in a greenhouse will, may keep you alive and uh, that's what I'm doing it's like getting firewood up and all these things and the way I, I don't build big fancy greenhouses or anything like that I just it's treated wood stretch with uh, the plastic the, um, that you see four mil plastic guys if you're ever going to build one in it cut your cost down tremendously to not buy the preformed ones and not build the metal structures and all that just some simple treated wood with some plastic and let me say this uh, our winters here are not as rough as they are up north but I have seen in my other greenhouse a couple of years ago that it would be 25 or 30 degrees outside and it would be over 100 degrees inside the greenhouse with no heat and I've kept that greenhouse going in the cold of winter at night and it was it the one I'm talking about is 12 feet by 24 feet pretty big greenhouse with 100 watt bulb just kept enough heat in there to keep things from freezing so it's economical to be prepared you don't have to I'm building the new one now is just a 12 by 12 with 10 foot high peaks on it but it will hold a tremendous amount of extra you know tomatoes lettuce peppers whatever you want to grow and then by spring you can have several uh, se uh, trays ready of seedlings to go and uh, I will always on January 1st plant my tomato seeds in the greenhouse we set the seeds in there and within by spring you're already letting up the windows on the side and planting uh, your food so it's preparing for this winter preparing for the spring uh, and using the God gifts that our father in heaven gave us seeds and knowledge we're watching it guys you watch it be prepared the shortages of this dark winter are going to be severe if you're not prepared you're taking a chance of not surviving it's a heads up be safe